As simple as one, two, three. As simple as A to Z. Military yes. carbines were developed for non-infantry formations which still needed to protect themselves in combat environments. In the German army in the early 20th century, the units that were armed with carbines were the artillery units, the bicycle units, the cavalry, the engineers, the machine gunners, the military policemen, the mortar, the transport, the airship, the supply, and the telephone and telegraph units and companies. Not to be confused with the later carbine 98K or the earlier carbine 98A, which is an uppercase A, the carbine 98A or the car 98A was a shorter version of the Gewehr 98, originally made for cavalry and support unit troops. The preceding model carbine 98A, with a considerably shorter barrel than the Gewehr 98, and at a whopping 3.42 kilograms or 7.5 pounds, was also empty weight, which was also lighter than the Gewehr 98, and it was adopted in February 1902. During the, 1904 experiment, during the 1904 experiments with the Espatron rechambered carbine and 98A carbines, there was excessive recoil and muzzle flash problems that arose, which led to the suspension of the production in 1905. The Gewehr Parfums Commission, or the GPK, started developing a new carbine with a longer barrel and a different stock. By the mid summer of 1907, the longer barrel prototype carbine showed more acceptable recoil and muzzle blast behavior with the Espatron. The AZ stands for Aflong on Zaman Set Vodekton, which means planting and assembling device. The new features were a smaller diameter receiving ring, a trapid rather than a stamped barrel contour, an L shaped stacking rod attached to the stock near the muzzle, a turn down bolt handle, and the recesses of the stock of the same fashion as the Sniper Gewehr 98. The A stood for with bayonet, and the Z stood for stacking pyramid meaning carbine model 1898 with bayonet, attachment point and the stacking rod device. The Germans had issued the carbine 88 and the Gewehr 91 for cavalry and artillery men. These were simple shortened down versions of the Gewehr 98, which they would update and repeat into the carbine cavalry 98 and the artillery car 98. They were true carbines at 37.2 inches in length, but the Germans seen two identical carbines with no bayonet lug or cleaning rod saw it as a waste of time. The world before 1914 and even into 1915 was still thinking of the past, of volley firing and marching in straight lines and in two lines, giving birth to the Carbina 98AZ, the carbine with just enough length to go over the shoulder and to minimize recoil. The iconic curved bolt design is actually still trying to keep it a carbine by taking off a few centimeters. The Germans also saw the concept of a universal short rifle. From the frontline troops to the artillerymen, the British had the SMLE and the Americans had the Springfield, but the Germans were still not ready to get rid of the Gewehr 98, but the car AZ was the standard for everyone else. The artilleries, the stormtrooping, the cavalry, the communications and the rear echelon troops all had the car AZ. During World War I, the carbine 98A and 98AZ were issued to light infantry, to cavalry, to mountain troops, to the Alfenjäger, to later assault troops and the Stormentruppe, but it was light because it was shorter and lighter than the Gewehr 98, and it was thus better suited for the noose of trench assaults and trench raids. It was a great gun, but had a very short shelf life like the M1 Garand. After the Treaty of Versailles, the Germans had to make a choice in regarding the carbines and the rifles they had and most of them were modified from the Gewehr 98 and on the basis of the Car 98 AZ as carbinins but the carbinins were not seen as a viable weapon for frontline use up until World War II so they would still make the Car 98 B which would live on into the Car 98 K but that gun would not be possible without the Car A to Z it also saw some use in World War II for a time but production and interchangeability was its main downfall. At the end of World War I, 1,500,000 short rifles had been produced. In 1923, the AZ was dropped for A, a lowercase a, a German sought to distinguish the models from the newer models of B and K and the Polish. But those are stories, countries and rifles for another day. As easy as 1, 2, 3. As easy as A to Z. The Uflangs und Zimmermann Stedlichtung. Assemble and clean. 
the car 98AZ. Anyway guys, cheesy as always, but hope you enjoyed, hope you like it, and we'll see you for a very iconic one. Um, no Luger, something, uh, maybe Bochart 98, maybe, maybe Bochart, maybe Bochart. I, I have a, I had a pus infection, so the finger's healing, so I don't expect the MLG greatness, but I, I pulled off a few clips. Hope you enjoyed, and the finger's getting better, so at least I can actually play and move with it, so at least it's better than not recording footage at all. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, N, P. I mean, it's A to Z, so. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Um, probably a number, not a letter, would be in the next video or the next gun. Um, might do a couple other stuff before next gun, though, but the uh, gun, a uh, gun next off day for sure. Alright, let's say uh, Tuesday. Alright, let's say Tuesday would be people and battles. And Thursday is, or if I get Thursday, it's mostly it's Tuesday to Thursday, but um, the off day that starts closest to the week or Sunday would be people and places, and the off day that is pretty much Thursday, more than likely, would be, I don't know, guns and, um, ex not experimental, Wep it will be weapons and... Uh, I don't know, um, tactics maybe, like tactics, who knows, we'll see, or weird stories or whatever, it'll be a mix mash for Thursday, and to, eh, let's see what goes, but for sure guns on Thursday, because Thursdays seem a bit better for guns for Friday, anyway, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time, learn something my dudes.